Hi everyone, I'm back again to discuss yet another emotional block that gets in our way. I want to talk about attachment to anger. Anger serves a purpose. It is a quick go-to emotion. It is always easily accessible and it is always ready to be used. Anger sits in waiting, just watching for us to need it. It almost feels easy to go there, to be angry, to yell, to give a silent treatment, to write that angry text, or to even yell at another driver, doesn't it? But why is it we get so attached to our anger? We believe it is helping us. When we use anger, it works like a shield to protect us from our pain. If we keep our anger out in the front, then we do not have to feel or experience the hurt that is underneath it. And we come to believe we need it. It helps us. And we don't know who we are without it. What if I told you that anger is actually hurting you? It takes a lot of energy to keep that anger at bay, to not let it always explode out of us. And that using the anger does not solve problems. In fact, it can make problems worse. You've probably experienced that. So I want to take a minute and talk about Sesame Street. Almost everyone knows this show. And in this children's TV show, there is a little green character that lives in a tin garbage can. We all know his name. Well, this guy is always angry and his anger is like the lid of his can. And when the lid is closed, it keeps him inside along with all the anger. When the lid opens, he pops up and so do all his angry emotions. So let's look how this doesn't work for our little green friend. Let's imagine a day on the street. The sun is out and the little red guy and a big yellow guy come down and stop right in front of that can and they begin to sing the ABCs. Well, the singing wakes up the green guy and the lid flies off and it flies open and he pops out and he yells and yells at the little red guy and the big yellow guy because their singing woke him up. He is so angry and he keeps on yelling until finally he goes back in the can, the lid shuts tight once again. Now, what did all that yelling do? Nothing. He let off steam, but everything fueling the outburst is still under and inside in that can under the anger. He did not say why he was angry. He did not say he was sad about getting woken up. He did not say he felt unimportant because they were being loud outside his house. He just yelled. The little red guy and the big yellow guy do not know why he was upset. They just heard yelling. No problem was solved. And that left them feeling sad. Now the little red guy knows how to express his feelings. He gets help from an adult and they move down the street and sing a song about feelings and they get them out. And then he feels better. But the green guy in the can, he just stays angry because he does not know another way. There's always another way. Who do you want to be? The green guy or the red guy? It is always better to let those feelings move through you, to be acknowledged and be spoken about and to be felt. They turn into anger when we shove them down and do not tend to them. Anger is just a cover up emotion. That is why it is like the lid of the garbage can. It is time to transform that anger, to find emotional freedom and to break free from those painful stories of the past. It really is time. The one year anniversary of my book is next week, yay, on April 6th. And I'm so excited and I'm going to keep sharing messages with you on my social media. So just leave me your thoughts here down below. Share this on your pages and help me help more people heal. That is my mission, that is my why. Head on over to my website at janetphilbin.com 
Sign up for emails and exciting upcoming events. I want you to be the first to know everything. I'm so glad you joined me today. I can't wait to hear from you and I'll be back. Bye.